Hey everyone, it's Alby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the weird angle. I'm trying to get it all to work. But um, today's going to be a cooking video. I do like to make a lot of um, desserts and sweets and I thought it's sort of the holiday season. And I thought I'd share a really easy recipe that I saw on TikTok and it's like sort of all over. It's sort of well known. It's commonly called a Christmas crack. <laughs> so all you need is five simple ingredients. I'm going to use pretzels instead of crackers. It's typically made with um, like a premium cracker blend, but I'm going to use these pretzel thins instead. I actually saw on a TikTok live I watched of uh, the Midwestern mom. She, uh, I told her I was going to make it with using her recipe and she said try it with pretzels and I thought well I'll try it with pretzel thins because that's sort of like a mixture between a cracker and a pretzel because they're just these really thin things. So you'll need five ingredients. We'll start with pretzels. You could also substitute crackers or gluten-free things if you need. Um, to make the sort of caramel topping we're going to use light brown sugar on um, one bag and one stick of butter. We're going to melt this together. I'll show you. And then you'll need one bag of chocolate chips. And I'm going to add some Christmas sprinkles on top at the end. So this is optional. You can always change it out if you're going to do it for Valentine's Day or even Fourth of July or something. So you can add on different sprinkles. But So this is just the fifth item, which is not, you don't have to use it. But I just thought I'd put it in there for fun. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so to make this sort of caramel sauce, we're going to just melt down our stick of butter and then slowly sort of fold in <laughs> the brown sugar to make this caramel sauce. And I'll show y'all a little bit more when it heats up. While the butter is melting, I've lined my baking sheet. I saw someone, sorry, I'm out of focus. I saw someone used aluminum foil, and I don't know if I'd recommend that just because of like the ooey gooeyness of the caramel and stuff. So I'm using parchment paper. So I just lined my like cookie sheet <laughs> with parchment paper and I'll put my pretzels on. All right, so I bought the party size of these. Um, they're called pretzel crisps, but they're like pretzel thins. And I've used, um, I have about this much left of the pretzels, and that was to line the tray with the pretzel thins. As you can see, sorry, this is my countertop's really low. These are really thin. So I've lined these all up just as our butter and stuff is melting. All right, so I have added in let's see, the butter to the brown sugar, and I'm just letting that all melt together real quick and like let it sort of liquefy so then I can pour it all over our pretzels. I'll be right back. All right, hopefully I don't catch my hair on fire. <laughs> Trying to keep my face in frame, but I just have my spatula. And as you can see, it's slowly getting more like, almost like mashed potatoes. And so I'm just gonna keep working this. I have it on low heat. So I think that's the best thing. Low and slow is one of the best sort of sayings when it comes to cooking, especially sweets. So I'm just having that going to make sure it doesn't scorch or anything and that I can keep better control of it. So slowly becoming more and more softer. So it's <laughs> making sure you don't catch my hair. Um, so it's slowly becoming more and more soft so that it's more of that liquidy um, caramel, brown sugar, or like toffee mixture that we want. So I'll pause right here and I'll be right back as I hold my hair. All right, so it's been about, let me turn this off. It's been about another minute or so and you, you can see slowly getting a little more liquidy. So I'll pause and I'll do some more stirring. So just another update here, I'm gonna try to show y'all sort of how not liquid yet, but slowly getting there. So I'll keep y'all posted. Alrighty, so I have put my oven and preheated it to 350. Um, the caramel sauce is, or like toffee, is about the consistency that I want. It's um, runny, but not like watery. So I'm going to grab my cookie sheet with all of the pretzels and just slowly um, sort of pour it on. Let's see if I can get a good shot. It's a little high. There we go. All right, let's, oh, let's see if I can do this without melting my camera. All right. So here we go. Let's see if I can. We're going to, sorry, we're going to just spread it out as it falls. And it's going to bake at 350 um, just for five minutes. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm in the back of my scorched pan. Oh my gosh. I've done so many different videos this month. And let me tell you, cooking YouTube channels and beauty YouTube channels, they don't get enough credit because it's a lot of work. A lot more work than just talking about my books, for sure. Alrighty, so that's sort of it. It's like runny mashed potatoes. <laughs> and I'm going to use the spatula when I get everything and smooth it out. I'll pause and I'll show you. Alrighty, so I've spread it out as much as I sort of want to right now. And it's going to melt and cook some more in the oven for the five minutes. So I'm going to put it in the oven for five minutes at 350. And I'll take it out and show you. Alexa, start. Stop timer. Alexa, stop. 
All right, that is my five minute timer. I'm gonna take it out of the oven. Let me grab my oven mitts. No, safety first, I'll wait. All right. And here is a nice little preview. It's melting down some more. I'm gonna let this sit on here and I'm gonna open up the bag of chocolate chips and pour them on and let that all melt together. So let me pause right here. All right, the person that I saw the recipe do, they just poured these chocolate chips onto the platter and let it just melt into it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna let it all melt from here together and see how it turns out. And I'll show y'all the end result. So the one recipe I saw called to just dump the bag onto the platter and let it melt. I'm actually just going to put it back in the oven to let the chips melt down a little faster. I have um, other things I have to do today. So unfortunately, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch. So I think a lot of people can relate to that, especially the holidays where you have a lot of things to do and not a lot of time. So I'm just going to use this little hack where I'm just going to melt the chips down at two minutes. I'm going to check on them and see how they are. And then I'll probably take a spatula or spoon and kind of mush all that out together. So I'll show you all that in just a second. While those chips are melting, I was going to get my um, sprinkles ready. These are the Holiday Lights Sprinkle Mix by Great Value, um, the Walmart brand. Unfortunately, I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have like a shaker on the top. It just had like the little foam and it has a really cute little decoration, but you have to like dump them in your hand and sprinkle them all over. So that's a little disappointing. I thought I'd point that out. Oh, there's my timer. All right, the chips are like 90% melted. I'm just added 30 more seconds just to have a little more ooey gooey so that when I take it out, I can get that spatula and smooth it all out super quick and easy. So for reference, I have changed the two minutes in the oven with the chips on to two minutes, 30 seconds. Just to let y'all know. All right, the 30 seconds is up. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. I'm gonna grab my oven mitts because I keep on wanting to forget. <laughs> but I don't realize quick enough. Oh, I get the sauna. So here they are here. They are not all the way melted, but I'm gonna check and see. You know, cooking is always different. You can always tell most stuff by eyeballing it, as my grandmother would say. So I'm gonna take this um, spatula. I don't know. It's just, it's all silicone, so I thought it'd be easier than like a wooden one. And I'm just gonna, oh, let me get to the camera. Oh, Jesus, I burned myself. <laughs> I told y'all, these cooking people on YouTube. Let me see. Oh, look at that. I can get it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, this is fun. It's like a mud mask for your tummy. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty. You know, I have actually never made this recipe before, but I saw it and I needed content for Vlogmas. And I love to bake, and I have our, on my dad's side of the family, we're having that Christmas party tomorrow. And so I need to make something because I like to cook. I like to make, I don't, I like to cook, but I like to make desserts the most. Mm, it smells good. This is um Ghirardelli. This is the one we had in the pantry, so it's kind of bougie. <laughs> so, looks really good. I kind of had a lot of pretzels, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping this, you know, turns out really well. Oh, let me aim it down, Lord of mercy. Like I said, make sure you, you hug a, a friend that does the cooking TikTok or cooking YouTube because oh my gosh I think TikTok be easier in a way because you could just do a live once you get a thousand subscribers but, oh my gosh there's a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot easier when you don't have to film it but yeah okay so I melted this all down and I've smoothed it out um I'm gonna stop spreading <laughs> I'll stop spreading for a second and I'll get my sprinkles so let me pause now my counters are so low <laughs> I'm not that tall I'm five six but my counters are low y'all so I'm having I'm having to do crouching tiger hidden cookie I'm just getting the sprinkles in my hand and spreading Christmas spirit and Christmas joy all over these <laughs> chocolate. It looks real cute. I think, yeah, y'all have a good angle. Y'all almost took a face plant into the chocolate. That would have been fun. <laughs> and I pray to God that these are just plain old sugar. That'd be terrible if these were like sweet tarts. <laughs> it looks pretty though, but yeah, just spread, just spread your Christmas joy around the chocolate. <laughs> oh, they look pretty. I like these. They had a really pretty one that was sort of like I call it Elsa blue, you know, like from Frozen, that like icy blue. And they didn't have like um, like Santa Claus or stuff in them, so they'd be beautiful for Hanukkah or even if you're making something for winter, winter related. Like my birthday's in January, so I tell my mom to always get like extra, um, like, what is it, uh, snowflake wrapping paper because, you know, it's not Christmas time, but it's, it fits the mood. <laughs> So yeah, they had a really pretty one at Walmart that was blues and silver, but like that Elsa blue, that'd be really pretty if you're doing something for Hanukkah or just want to do a wintery thing. So I've almost used the whole bag. You know what? There's not that much left. We're just gonna have a lot of joy. Lots and lots of joy. <laughs> Cause you know, what am I gonna do with a hand, two handfuls of sprinkles? And now I can save this little jar because I am thrifty. <laughs> Let me crouch down. <laughs> and I can put um, little doodads in here cause it's real cute. All right, so now that this has all Oh, I got a chocolate chip just chilling out over here. Get over here and melt. 
Lord have mercy. Here we go. All right. Now that this is all melted down, I'm literally crouching. <laughs> um, you can put this in the fridge for two hours to cool. So like if you're doing this for the party the day of or you need it cold fast, um, just put it in the fridge. I'm probably just going to chill this out on my um, dining room table because this doesn't have to be cold or anything. And you're just setting it basically. It'll set better in the fridge quicker, but I'm just going to let it set on the dining room table with you know protection so it doesn't melt through the table and once it's chilled or it's set you know everything's gotten cooled and together you're just going to break it apart or get like a little hammer and smash it up and then that's how people get their pieces oh i'm out of breath well everyone i hope you enjoyed this for vlogmas um i've never crouched this low before um uh, it was a real easy recipe and like i said it's five ingredients it's the pretzels the stick of butter the packet of brown sugar and the packet of um chocolate chips and then i just added sprinkles like i said you could change up the sprinkles for valentine's day you could do like hanukkah with the blue and gold or blue and silver so you can sort of do it up for any holiday you don't have to be christmas crack it could be hanukkah crack it can be valentine's crack whatever so yeah just put it in the fridge for two hours at least if you want it set quicker or i'm just gonna let it set on the table for a couple hours so <laughs> everyone hope you've enjoyed this video i will include the recipe ingredients and instructions all in my description box like i said it's super easy it's really fun so i hope you'll have a good day and i'll see y'all soon bye everyone